so you probably hear me now? Hey, yeah, I can hear you now. Sorry about the camera, just I don't have it on this PC. <laughs> no problem. PC, I can turn off mine. No, it's okay, whatever you prefer. <laughs> no problem. Um, well, thanks a lot for jumping on a call. Uh, just uh, thought that we should connect. And, um, you know, Corona Y is, is a highly distributed and um, kind of the cha chaotic in some way. So onboarding calls happen um, to kind of reduce that ambiguity and reduce um, confusions when people join. So just a, a quick heads up. Um, I'm, a, I'm a founder of Corona Y. So whenever uh, this whole thing started in terms of COVID-19, I decided to organize a community of people that share the impact driven um, aspect of, you know, the current uh, challenge, the COVID 19 challenge. And um, in terms of your background, I would love to, to hear, because you've, you've actually outlined a very comprehensive description of your experience, what you want to do. And I think the uh, data set um, curation or finding or um, assessment is a huge um, piece that is m missing from Corona Y right now. And I would just uh, love to hear what's, what's your expectation of uh, kind of joining Corona Y. So, you know, my experience is a bit limited because I am a bachelor student and this year I started researching. But uh, the, the area that I've focused is, you know, data set finding, and I love this area. So what I was hoping is, because when I was trying to make my own projects, I was having difficulty assessing the data sets and all that stuff. I would like to help in assessing those data sets and making them, uh, collecting them all together. So for researchers who need the data to be able to have access to the right data. Yeah. Yeah, this is a very much needed piece. Um, so we have actually two teams that are struggling with that right now. And uh, depending on uh, which one resonates with you, I would uh, onboard you to, to that one. So the first team is the pulmonary fibrosis uh, screening team. So it's a computer vision task where a uh, team is um, concentrating on creating universal model for lung disease screening and uh, basically there are a lot of data sets about the x-rays and ct scans and um, there is a lack of people who uh, are exploring those or kind of like finding those online and the data keeps coming in so um, would would appreciate your help in that um, the second team is actually our flagship product called ai powered literature review tool and what it does um, the the high level is we're helping medical researchers scan through 200,000 scientific papers and find the ones that are the most relevant to the topic of their research. And obviously no one can read 200,000 papers. So we're using machine learning models to actually simplify the tax, a task and extract meaningful data from the papers. So we, we have different data sets from different sources some people are doing manual annotations and categorizing papers, putting those up as um, data sets online. Some people are um, putting them on GitHub and any other places. And we just need someone to, to centralize that storage and um, outline which data set has what and how we can use that. Yeah, that would be nice. I mean, you know, I told you that I'm a bit entry level, so when I enter the team, I would like someone to tell me, you have to do this. So then I can proceed. But especially the second task sounded very good. Sounded mostly on what I am focused right now. Awesome. All right. So I'm going to onboard you into this channel. It's called Team Literature Review. Uh, uh, let's say Team Literature Review Interface. And I'm going to invite you to the second one, which is Team Literature uh, Review NLP. So the reason, the difference between these two, uh, the first one is kind of like the UI, UX, and the actual product research. And the second one is more technical and deals with the natural language processing. And that's where the data sets discussions are happening primarily. But it will be helpful for you to be in both 
because that will give you a context of like why those data sets are actually needed and, and helpful. Okay, that's great. Awesome. So I'm going to shoot you a, a welcome message. I uh, will tag you on that. And I'll basically outline the short-term task, which is familiar, familiarizing yourself with the, the concept of the project, um, the most immediate needs, and probably it will be helpful for you to jump on a call tomorrow. Uh, we're going to have a call with this group of uh, uh, University of Edinburgh researchers that um, have manually categorized and annotated 5,000 papers, and they've shared the data set with us. But truthfully, no one really knows what's in that data set and how we can use it. So I'll invite you to that call. Um, okay, that's great. If you can invite me so that I know, you know the exact time, that would be very nice. Yeah, it's 9 a.m. Pacific, which is uh, here on GMT one, right? Yes, I think so. <laughs> because you know it's one or two because it's changing. It's basically two hours before now. Yes. Okay, that's great. I just sent you an invite and um, the invite has more context of uh, about the group of researchers. So um, check that out. And there is a presentation in the previous call we had with them. And I actually, I truly believe they've created an amazing data set. We just need to figure out how, how to apply it. Yes, yes, I understand what you're saying. Okay, so yes, I, I just received the invite. Okay, 7 p.m. for me and it works for me. It's fine. Awesome. And okay, so I'll be on the call. Yeah, so that sounds like an uh, actionable next step. And let's reconvene probably later tomorrow after the call. And in, in case you have any questions or have any suggestions how we can work with um, that data set. And we'll go from there. Okay, so, you know, right now we finished the call. Uh, what am I expected to do? Um, all right, so let me uh, give you a checklist. First uh, one, check out uh, the invite that I sent you and check out the context for that. There is a description, it has a link to a video presentation, and it will give you a good overview of uh, what we're trying to, to accomplish. And I added you to two channels, so you can look through those channels to better understand what's, what's happening. Um, and yeah, that sounds like the next uh, step until tomorrow. Okay, so that's great. Awesome, yeah. I'm super excited. Yeah, uh, happy to uh, have someone who's passionate about data set management because, you know, we have a lot of data scientists and they love to actually build models and models need data sets, uh, but no one likes to, to find, curate and kind of assess data sets. Yeah, I mean, it's a tedious work and some of my colleagues at university are like, uh, you know, you cannot do this, it's not data science, but what I tell them is like, you cannot train any model exactly. and you cannot do nothing with fake data. You will only create problems, so you need me, actually. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, exciting. Okay. All right, sounds good. Um, Thank you yeah. so much for, for so, jumping on the call. Uh, oh, and quick note, uh, we're actually, as you probably noticed, we're super transparent and open organization. So we're onboarding, uh, or we're recording all the calls and meetings that are happening. So are, are you okay with me uh, posting the, the video of, of the current call? Yeah, there is no problem. Awesome. All right. Then we're good. Great. Okay. Thank you for your time. Thank you. All right. Bye-bye. Have a good evening. Bye.